Daredevil, the Netflix Daredevil season two didn't uh, was still phenomenal like, success. It wasn't mm -hmm. as good as the first one, but these were so successful that Netflix released them to buy, like the seasons to yeah. buy. Yeah, physical copies and in the store shelves. They are. They were so well loved by the fans. It actually made people like Daredevil because Daredevil was a niche character. This is Same crazy. With, well, Punisher wasn't a niche, but everybody liked uh, that version I, of. I wouldn't Punisher. say he was a. I wouldn't say he was a niche character. I remember reading Daredevil when I was a kid, and Daredevil's had a long run. Yeah. But I think what it was is that it was just it was done well. I mean, yeah. He even had a made-for-TV movie back in what early '80s, I think. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk niche character? I think it was what is it, the Iron Fist? Not Iron Fist, but uh, yeah, it was the same. It was uh, Jessica Jones. Jones. No, well, Jessica Jones, she's beyond. Iron, niche. Uh, I know who you're talking Jones. about, Luke Cage yeah. or something like that. Yeah, Luke uh, Cage and Iron Fist. Here no, no, the high. Iron Fist. Yeah, Iron. So it was the Iron Fist. Iron but, Fist was was a niche character. You guys saw the outcry, what they did to that daredevil with She Hulk. Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, I still. Although I did like the more acrobatic, the, the way they portrayed him as more acrobatic in that. That that was a nice step up. They messed up everything else. But, I mean, think about it, though. I mean, you have the iconic, total 100% successful show done by a company that's not even them. And he's sitting down watching the 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 crap, and he's like, he had no choice. He had to redo everything. Well, it because... was kind of them. It was Marvel Entertainment instead of Marvel Studios, and Feige and Paul Andrew. Mutter were butting heads over what to do at the time. Now, it was filmed by ABC Studios, run by Marvel Entertainment, and then, and then it was... Uh, the distribution rights were with Netflix. Mm -hmm. So it was a Netflix original, but Netflix didn't make it. They just sponsored it pretty much. They covered a good part of the bill, but Marvel themselves, under the guise of Marvel Entertainment, made the shows. However, there was a headbutt between, I think, Perlmutter and Feige, and so they didn't want to consider that actual complete continuity so I think the Netflix shows are considered very close branch parallels to MCU history. So they could use the same actor and pretty much they have the same history, but not exactly. So it doesn't conflict with their already messed up canon. That, that's that's freaking stupid. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to jump my two cents on this real quick. Um, season three of Daredevil for me was kind of a disappointment. Simple, simply for the fact that, uh, you know, if you guys read Born Again, the, the comic book, it is quite possibly one of the most beautiful, 10 out of 10 perfect comic books for me, all right? And they did not scratch even a surface of that in season three. They gave me a good bullseye, mind you, but uh, they didn't give me Elektra getting killed by him. And they didn't give me, uh, what was it, um, Matt's apartment getting blown up. And they didn't give me uh, Karen Page becoming a heroin addict. So, Actually, I was yeah. kind of hoping they would leave the Karen Page thing out entirely because it, it it's a little too heavy. It sucks too much of the fun out of it for, for me personally. I, yeah, I know there's the some people are like, so oh, the more intense, the better. But I, I have yes. my limits. I, yes. I, Foggy, uh, Foggy s sold the show for me. Oh yeah, Foggy was awesome. What was really cool though oh, yeah. was you had that scene in Spider-Man: No Way Home, where Matt Murdock, played this by Charlie lawyer. Cox, sat down with and was talking to Happy Hogan, played by John Favreau, who originally played Foggy in another movie. So you had the yeah, two Foggy sitting awesome. there across the table. That, that no, was just a nice little foreshadowing well, of things to come in the rest of that movie. Not only that, but because it was a Marvel movie, it canonized that Matt Murdock. Yeah. Andrew Campbell, good to see you, man. How's it going? Tim Allen says, I always enjoyed Daredevil comics, and the Netflix series was fantastic. Yeah, and they did it. I, I still think uh, that was the best Punisher, too. Although Daredevil does get all the hand-me-down Spider-Man characters. Kingpin. Well, 
<laughs> is originally a Spider-Man <laughs> villain. Punisher, first appearance as a Spider-Man antagonist. Yeah, but you can't... Oh. Okay, so I know they totally changed the Kingpin character so that they could have that actor, but I think it enhanced Kingpin because well, that, he just had that commanding presence. What, what do you mean they changed him? Um, Kingpin has several different versions, but they yeah, physically altered him for the... Uh, think so? I, I think that this uh, Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, while not absolutely comic book accurate... Is probably the best on screen version we've seen so far. Oh, no. And they, that's putting far, him up against powerhouses it. like Michael Clark Duncan because that and, dude and had a screen presence. Even when Vince was even in trying. Law and Order, his acting was phenomenal. It always yeah, he, his, never went further. His range is incredible. I've seen him play awkward to crazy to, psych, to psychotic and. He's like his delivery is fantastic. In all honesty, he should be a main villain in the MCU, but you know they didn't <laughs> give it. They 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 made him a soy boy in Hawkeye. Yeah. Now, did you see the trailer for Echo? Uh, no. Do I have to? You don't have to, but. While I'm not confident in the show, they at least made the trailer look really good. It looks like it's gonna be hard hitting, kind of like, kind of like uh, Daredevil was. At least that's uh, the, how the preview made it look. And Echo is so bad they're dumping the entire series in a single I know. day. Yeah, thank but you. It, again, Vincent D'Onofrio was stealing all the scenes in that trailer. 